Hello and welcome to Gettard Farms. We're back with another episode of the Clark Farms map by MRG Mapping. And uh, we've got us some shiny new equipment. I shouldn't say new maybe. Um, but we've got a few new mods that we're going to be taking a look at today. So we were having all kinds of problems with a um, case combine and header that we were using. And so I was working on getting that patched up. And somebody reached out with to me with the opportunity to try out a uh, uh, updates he's been making to uh, some of these gleaner harvesters. And so I thought this would be an appropriate uh, time to try those out and give us a chance to keep working on that case combine and uh, hopefully get the case back in the field for corn harvest here. And so uh, we've got a gleaner L3 here in the back. And then if I actually jump up here to... Uh, the combine we've got taken off this headland in the front. This is an M3. Uh, so a little bit difference in uh, horsepower, I think, is the main difference here on these mods. And so these are uh, from Larson Mods. I think he's working on uh, edits to these uh, combines. And so, you know, we've got a, a simple but really clean interior. Um, things look good, especially for uh, some of these older mods um, that you see floating around. So... This is a pretty cool little uh, combine. I was able to find some 20 foot headers here. So this matches uh, really the setup we were using in the other field with the case. Uh, but I figured if we got two of them going, we'd probably knock this field out a little bit faster. It looks like it's still about an hour and a half of harvesting, um, but this is kind of fun. Uh, I like trying out new mods and uh, we used to have a gleaner dealer just down the road from us when uh, when I was younger living in Minnesota. So. Used to see a lot of white com or uh, white tractors and gleaner combines in the fields around us, uh, you know, 20, 30 years ago here. So this is kind of a fun mod to try out. We are going to uh, be leveraging a little bit of course play to let these guys help us out with harvest. We're going to try and get the grain cart driver working here in a little bit as well. Uh, we'll probably open this field up and then. Uh, I started trying to lime field one. We called the co-op in to come out and work with us, but they're having some problems. So I think um, there might be something wrong with the map or a conflict with one of the mods I have installed. So we're gonna try and uh, disc that field up today and see what we can do to allow us to spread some lime after that. So we've got the um, lime spreader sitting here but uh, we have kind of another awesome looking mod to try out today. Um, this is also from Larson Farms Modding. And this is the Turbo Tiger 2 uh, that he's hopefully going to release soon, I think. And so this has uh, um, some nice tweaks, but it has that very iconic uh, lime green color for the uh, Steiger. We used to have a neighbor that had one of these that he would do some tillage with. I think I've seen it on a grain cart a couple of times. Uh, and so this is a really cool little tractor, big tractor. Um, you don't see too many of these around anymore. And so I thought it'd be uh, a good thing to use. We're kind of out of tractors, right? I've got uh, the case on the auger and the um, other uh, Steiger on the um, grain cart. And so I came to the realization that I needed another little tractor to use. So we've got uh, we've got this guy here. We're going to go ahead and just see what happens if I pl uh, disc this field real quick and then see if that helps with the problems that we're having uh, without being able to spread the line. So we'll use some skip rows and we'll kind of just let this guy do its thing for a bit and then we'll get the uh, lime spreader out and see what happens. So we'll let the worker help us out here and get started on the headlands for this uh, particular field and while we jump over and get uh, get this bean field opened up and then we'll come back over here and check this uh, Steiger out in a little bit more detail here in a few minutes. Um, I just want to make sure that these combines are moving and grooving and that uh, I can get a course play course set up for this grain cart so he can take care of things. But uh, to start, I think we got to go catch up with these guys because I'm pretty sure they're going to need to be unloaded here in the back corner somewhere. So apparently I've just taken the scenic drive around and I could have just waited for them to get back up to the uh, 
top part there. Apparently they're not getting as full as I expected here. So we're going to bypass the second one and try and catch up with this lead combine because it looks like he's likely going to be full soon. And of course I've got to catch him right as we're passing the lagoon here. Come on. Pull forward. Don't crash. This telephone pole is going to be in my way in a moment. Alright, we're going to call that good enough. I try and not put us into the lagoon and catch this second combine for at least a few feet. No. It's all disorienting backing up from this angle. Will he make it? I like these older style grain boxes on the combines, the square ones with the auger in them. It looks really cool. So I'm going to let this guy go. I think he's got to work his way around the corner here. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. Oh, he's going to cut through on land mode. I think this whole little section is technically uh, land mode where they're going to try and sit here and turn around on the long row. So this is probably the only really awkward section on this field. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way here. And I think what I want to do is because we're right here next to the bins, I think I'm just going to set this grain truck up where I want to be able to dump the grain cart and then we'll set the unload course uh, to follow here right up to the truck. And so we're going to put some of these beans in the truck right now just so I can make sure I've got the truck in the right spot. And then once I know I've got the truck in a spot so I'm not going to have to keep backing him up, we will uh, do the course play course here to dump into here. And so this looks like the good spot. If I start unloading, it looks like it's going to work. So I'm happy enough with that. So let's take this guy right through the ditch. Oh my goodness. So we're going to take this guy and uh, do the grain cart course. And so what I want to do is bring him up to this headland point. Point him in this way so that no matter where I am on the field, I can hopefully see this point. And then we're going to go ahead and start course recording. And just bring him right over here. And then I want to kind of come in on this truck as straight as I can. Set a white point. And then we're going to go around. Whoa, something went wrong. And we're going to come around the bin site here. And bring this guy right back out onto the field. Alright, so it looks like we've got this guy all set up to go. We're just going to follow him out here and make sure that our offsets for unloading these combines are reasonable here. It should work without any problems, but you never know. New mods, you always got to put some eyes on. But uh, we had a little problem with one of the gleaners took a road trip through the middle of the field. At least its header was down. Um... But yeah, we're already making some progress on uh, knocking these beans out, so really liking these gleaners. They look cool. Very nostalgic for me. And uh, this is why we test. We're going to give us probably a good meter here, see if that solves the problem. Maybe we'll need a little bit more. Let's see how that looks. Um, meters, maybe a little close. Let's maybe do 1.5. We've got a pretty good distance on that side auger, so I'd rather stay off the header if I can. I think that looks about right. 
And so he's unloaded that, uh, Gleaner unloads pretty fast. I was, uh, pleasantly surprised to see, uh, how fast that dumped into the grain cart. Usually these older combines have quite a slow unload speed. And so hopefully this guy's trying to figure out how to get to our other combine here. It's always nice when a, uh, plan works out and things go smoothly. See if he can catch up here and start unloading. Oh, we're going to be good. And uh, we've got a fair amount in the uh, green cart here, so that's exciting. We're getting a good yield. We're going to be able to hopefully dig ourselves out of the uh, hole we're in from a financial perspective here soon. We did have to take out uh, some more loans to pay for these guys. We are, you know, from a fairness perspective, we are paying these uh, gleaners that we're leasing here from the neighbor. And then just jumping back over here to check on this Steiger for a while. So this is a really cool mod. In fact, I guess we could even pull this up in uh, the mod hub or the mod hub in the store and take a quick look at it. We've got, uh, by default, you've got your yellow and uh, white coloring here, uh, but you do have the ability to change this from your yellow to that more faded look. You've got the lime that we're in now. You've got the, almost an oliver green. And then the, uh, the red color, but for me, most commonly, I, I would see the green. Um, and in fact, I've seen the green with the red rims uh, quite often in real life. Um, the red rims are usually quite a bit more faded than this, but uh, you've got a fair amount of color choices here. So that's kind of cool. Um, you do also have uh, the ability to change the hood to be black as well. So I really like that there was a fair amount of customization on this. Uh, a lot of times you just get kind of a base color with mods like this. So uh, I'm digging that. And then, you know, your standard, you got the three different wheel setups. You got the twin wheels and then you have just the broad wheels, uh, standard wheels. So I like the twins myself. You've got a number of engine options here ranging from a top end of 320 horse to a bottom end of 245. And then you've got two different front loader um, attachments for uh, leveling blades, depending on uh, what you're planning to use. I have seen these used pretty commonly for uh, pushing silage. Um, so not something we've got right now. Uh, we don't have a lot of silage in a bunk, but pretty cool. And then uh, we have the Agco Gleaner, um, which has... Um, really a couple of options. You've got your L series, L2, L3, um, your M series, M2, M3, and then you also have the late model versions of both of uh, those with the three different engine options. And then you've got the kind of standard, which is this worn front tire look, which I like that they're, you know, kind of get that sun rotted uh, rubber look versus the shiny black new as well as uh, rear wheel assist on those. So I went with the kind of base model here. I thought the faded tires look kind of cool. Uh, and you know, just the old school. Um, this is an older combine, even the late class one. So um, I really kind of look like how that looks. Uh, but this Steiger is just nice, shiny. I like the lime, lime green Steigers. That's, what it, that's where it's at. Um, we've got some nice uh, dirt textures on these tires too. Really one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, run this on tillage was also just to see how well the dirt textures look on this after it's been disking in the field here for an hour or so. We'll get some pretty cool looks I think.
so we're on the last pass here, and I thought we'd take a quick look in cab at this uh, Steiger. Uh, it's got some cool details. I'm um, not a fan of how dirty the dash gets, but uh, other than that, um, it's a cool basic interior here. Um, the dirt texture on like the walls and stuff actually looks pretty cool. I like that. It's not, you know, overbearing. Um, a lot of mods have uh, different uh, attention to detail on stuff like that. So it's kind of cool to see somebody putting the effort in. And then if we look at the outside, we're starting to get a little dirty. It's not too dirty yet, which is actually cool. I don't like when the mods get dirty too fast. So I'd be kind of curious to see what this looks like a little bit dirtier. But uh, for today, I think we kind of hit what we were trying to get done with this. So... I think this is a mod that's going to stay on the farm here. I was, uh, you know, wondering if we were just going to try it out today for the fun of it, but uh, I like it. I think it's a new addition to the farm. We needed another uh, tractor to put out in the field anyway. And so with that, we're going to try and start this guy off spreading lime again, and hopefully it's going to work this time. Um, now that the field's all plowed up, I don't know what's wrong with this field. You know, if it's a problem with the map, or if it's a problem with this mod, or, you know, I, I just don't know. So we're going to try this. If it works, great. If it doesn't, we'll figure something else out. I'm going to do skip rows. I'm going to do two headland passes. And that should, uh, should give him plenty of room to turn around, not get stuck on fences and stuff. And away we go. It looks like already just at a glance this is going to work a whole lot better and if we come in here yeah we're not getting all this weirdness we were seeing before um it looks like he's just going to do the full width although he's not doing anything now but i think that's probably more just the map not updating if i go out and pop back in yeah he's uh he's liming we're off to the races so i'm happy enough with that don't feel like i should have had to uh cultivate first but who knows Farm sim is weird sometimes. All of our cows piled up here. I haven't checked on the cows. We're still in the same day because of how I have seasons running. So we'll be good to go. We can feed them tomorrow. So we're going to let this guy go. Let's jump over here and see how we're doing on harvest. We're all sitting here with a nearly full grain cart. And we've made a uh, pretty significant dent in this field. So it looks like we're going to be able to wrap up our bean harvest here pretty quick, uh, which will be exciting. Um, just like, I don't know, what is this, a quarter, third of the field left maybe? So we're going to let uh, let these guys keep cranking on bean harvest and uh, I think wrap the episode up here. Uh, once again, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Larson Farms Modding and his link will be in the description below. Uh, for passing on these awesome new mods for us to try. Um, these Gleaner Combines are a lot of fun, and uh, especially the Steiger. I especially like this Lime Green. This is a sweet looking rig. I'm super happy to have this be a new addition to this, uh, this map and this farm. So we're going to get, I think, a lot of use out of this over the next several episodes as we tackle these uh, big fields with some uh, tillage and whatnot. However, that's all for today. Kedrick?